seen things group people would. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me. Please consider liking and subscribing. We are real tech for real people. Today will be a shorter video. Last couple times I've said that the videos have been over 30 minutes. This will not be that long, I promise. Um, this video is going to be my thoughts on the delays. Um, in regards to the releasing of new panels and new displays. I do have some information, most of it's word of mouth through some distributors, through friends that are in the industry, and even through some of the Best Buy employees that I have seen and talked to. Uh, today I was in Best Buy, I shot a Best Buy video there up in Danbury, Connecticut. It was the first time I was ever asked not to film. So I don't know how many more of those videos you're gonna see. Um, however, I did get good footage, but what I'm finding is there's very little to show you in those stores, uh, meaning there's very little in regards to anything new, and there's very little in regards to movement of price. And what I want to talk about today is what a friend of mine said, can't tell you who he is, he has his own installing business, and as a person that is ordering primarily Sony and even LG, is that on the Sony side, things are very scarce in regards to um, what's being released, who's getting what, and um, shortages in regards to manufacturing. LG, from what I understand, a lot of things are being pushed back. Uh, the C1, or for just for context, the CX released in March of last year is when I ordered the one that you see behind me. And then I received my 77 inch in the fall. But they were available in the summer, like a midsummer. So they scattered that. And what we're seeing now is LG pushing their stuff back to May maybe April, April, well, actually end of April, early May. That would be for the C1. The G1 Evo would be probably further than that. Now, even giving that information or even that guess from the people that I've spoken to, it's very hard for these retailers to tell you when things are going to come out because they're not really getting that information from the, directly from Sony or LG or even the distributors, meaning none of them actually know. And this year, more than any other, is a mess in that regard. So even how it trickles down, me passing information to you about, hey, this TV is cheaper, or this TV is going to drop, typically you would already see them begin to fall. But the reason you're not is there's no, no displays coming in to encourage them to drop price. So I was in the, um, the store of... Best Buy in Danbury and I was talking to one of the employees and he said they did have an A90J in the back um, and they're also able to ship them to people that have ordered them. I know Value Electronics has been able to ship theirs but not from their location but ship them to from whatever distribution uh, distrib <laughs> distribution center from wherever they are located they could ship them there but not to other areas so meaning whatever distribution center has an allocation they can send them out but perhaps not in the new york allocation these guys in the sony store i'm sorry in the best buy store have it in the back sony won't let them put it out on the floor that's mandated by sony but there are videos floating around of A90Js being in, um, I think it's Florida. Those are out on the floor. From what this guy told me, they're not supposed to be released um, yet to be out there. I don't know if Sony wants to get rid of their inventory or what is behind that. I have no idea. But the thing is, prepare yourself for delays. So more than news where I can link articles for you and tell you this is coming out with them, you really can't. And it's reminding me very much of the consoles, uh, whether it's the Series X or the PS5. When you went to um, GameStop that very first day, as I did, you know, you went to go basically pre-order, not buy them. You didn't know if there was 20 or 3. And the friend of mine, who is a Sony Diamond dealer as well, has to call for his, um, he's an installer, into people's homes, he has to call daily to say, hey, when is this coming? 
Um, can I, so he's got a, his whole business is on hold. He's just one person. He's a diamond, um, level, but he was talking about the distributors basically saying to him, I might have three, I might have 20, I might have 15, I might have four. So that's challenging. You have people that can't tell you. Um, and then I was in Best Buy and their Samsung representative was there. So I basically said to him, you know, can you tell me anything about when are these new mini LEDs going to drop? And he's like, I have no idea. And of course, he pulls out the website and says, coming soon. It's going to be here soon. And this unfortunately goes back to our Best Buy video about cutting these employees. As they're telling me that I can't film or I shouldn't film. I'm like, I'm trying to help you guys. Um, but you're basically realizing he doesn't have any information that you don't have which puts them in a bad spot. He has no idea um, when the new mini LEDs are going to drop. I had heard they were going to be in the store any day now. And he's saying maybe late April. So who knows? This video is, doesn't really have any answers. It just has more questions. But a bit of logic is I did a video in February, um, probably February 7th, and we talked about the delay of, or the... The delay or maybe even cancellation of the PS5 or the, it was more of a delay, the Series X and the iPhone. And I referenced, I think Forbes did an article, and that was the beginning of everything that's happened in the world. At that time, we had 780 dead in China. It felt like it was a world away. It felt like it's never going to come here. And I had to preface that video by saying there's such a loss of life. Um, we have to be sensitive. It's not about video games or movies or, or, or phones or anything like that. So fast forward now where you know, that was, you know, a year ago and here we are. But I think what many of us are kind of missing is that the things that we waited for, not the Xbox or the PS5, but the TVs that we waited for that were kind of slowed down by what happened um, with a the pandemic, they were slowed down we're all over it we're all tired you know people are now getting back out we want what we want but what we're seeing now is the reality of what happened now you're seeing the real delays now you're seeing the chip shortages now you're seeing um for instance a lot of what we talked about last year with displays most of them were already done it was getting them out that was delayed it was um, more of a logistics situation now we're seeing on the other side we're over it but everybody working they're 30 percent capacity um, are the numbers i'm hearing all of these companies whether it's the chip manufacturers that are grossly behind but trying to make up for those panels the panels that a lot of us bought last year were done already it was just getting them to you now we're seeing they were even had a hard time working on them. We had so many people working from home. Um, a lot of those factories were empty for the longest time in China. And then everybody got rushed back. I'm sure that wasn't smooth. So what we're seeing is uh, a break on everything, which means we're seeing a break on prices falling. And we're seeing a break on when stores are going to get in new supply um, from the really, really big box stores to even um, our friends at Value Electronics. You know, I'm sure. And for, for my buddy who installs, he says the frustrating thing is people want their products. I want you to have them. They want to prepay for them, but prepaying for them doesn't do us any good if I can't get it to you. So almost like the consoles, which is interesting, is I have some of you in the channel or in the community that have recently purchased the A90J that should be getting it in the next few days, which is amazing. But it's it's almost odd that some of and it's, it's but it's not a bad thing either that the user will actually have the product before some of the reviewers, which really is kind of the way it should be anyway. Um, but it's interesting. It's interesting that. It's going to be a weird year for us as creators. Um, it's going to be a weird year to wait, right? So I'm in the situation now where, you know, my 77 inch CX, um, they're trying to find me the cleanest one they can. And do I wait for, you know, the C1 or the Evo? 
or do I wait for an A9DJ at 83 inches? The funny thing about that is how long are we going to wait? I'm not going to wait three or four months. I, I'm, you know, there's this uh, 55 inches is small compared to what was there. But, you know, I want I want my TV. So I'm, I want the CX back. But even for me in this situation, I'm not waiting a few weeks. And even the A90J, we can't get a price on it. Cannot get a price on it. We've had speculation of euros and pounds, and I'm guessing it's going to be $8,000. Some are saying it's going to be this, but Sony will not release a price. They, can, they I have the prices for the others. So why won't they release the price? It may. Is it going to be delayed? Is it going to be farther out? So we're just in that weird spot. You know, do you wait? Um, many of you are right on that spot of, I want to buy right now. You've already been patient. You're going to wait for reviews, which is going to be another thing that's going to be odd, is waiting for comprehensive reviews. You'll see uh, videos of it online, but by that point, typically you would see um, the larger you know, uh, YouTubers or larger companies have them already and have reviews. For Samsung, you are seeing... Um, reviews from big websites, but they're they don't seem to be very comprehensive. They're very surface based, so you, it's hard to tell if those are sponsored reviews. Um, but it's going to be hard to get your hands on them. And even if you do want to buy one, and you're in Best Buy or one of these stores saying, "Hey, look, can I get it?" He just said all it was was coming soon. They have no idea. Or you have the A90J, which is in the back room. They don't know if they can release it today. Three days from now, next week, uh, to put it, you can buy it, and they may be able to ship it to you, but it's a weird time, because typically you pre-order consoles. Pre-ordering TVs is a little bit dicier, because you're thinking, I don't want to have $3,000 of mine, or $5,000, or $8,000 even just sitting there, or I don't want to be waiting that long. So it's a patience game, and it's hard to know. Again, I think if the HDMI 2.1 scenario wasn't that big a deal, um, I would easily say recommend if you're looking for LEDs, whether it's a Samsung or a Sony, last year's are great. Even the OLEDs, the AAH, the, the BX, the Vizios, those are all fantastic. Pick them up. I mean, the AAH today I saw in store looked awesome. It's just those of you that were waiting for these other companies to have... ACMI 2.1 is it's challenging and without TCL Vizio and those guys really representing themselves in store now you're reliant on Costco's website or, or Target or whatever and I went into those stores today and there's nothing Costco had almost nothing on um, the the intro to my Best Buy video which I'll release tomorrow um I went, I went into PC Richard and Son, nothing. I mean, just very, very scarce, very, very bare bones. Um, this Best Buy I was in today had the best, uh, and Danbury had the best selection I've seen in a long time, which is funny because I won't be able to <laughs> go back there and film. But they had the most comprehensive panels from all the manufacturers. TCL wasn't there. Um, Heisen's still not there. So it's going to be a wait and see thing for many of us and kind of like the consoles it's going to be you constantly checking um if things are coming in which is a tough thing for a consumer especially if you're buying a display so what's my advice or you know what am i doing i was satisfied with my cx it had some serious banding issues i really am going to go back with the cx because again that money's already spent and because it is hdmi 2.1 and all the features that i already love all I want is my 77-inch CX back. The A90J, to me, from what I've even seen on it, is going to be amazing. That peak brightness is going to be insane. But I am curious, and we'll do a separate video on this, is that the A90J uh, at 1,300, 1,400 nits without raised blacks, the Evo, I don't think it's promised to have that high of a peak brightness. So it's weird you know, how it's going to be. The C1 having an 83-inch panel, um, but not having the higher peak brightness. So it's going to be a very interesting year. What do you grab? Or do you go with the mini LEDs? But the hard thing is they're going to be hard to locate and, and hard to see in person. And the reviewers, including myself, who does, obviously, YouTube creation, it's going to be a challenge to bring you information other than um, websites from other countries, which we all find this information, but 
we can't get any real confirmation. And it's not about, I know it's about bringing things to you guys first. It's really just about, like, uh, for instance, you know, we were looking to go, um, Shane and I from Spirit Chain, shout out to Shane, is we were planning on going to Value Electronics to show you hands-on footage tomorrow. Initially, it was last Friday. Now it's being pushed back to maybe next Friday. Um, we're just going there to get our hands on it and show you guys. But people that have ordered it have received it, or I think had not received it, but they were shipped out from some of the distribution centers. But for even us hands-on, um, that's being delayed. And I'm not even buying it. So that's frustrating for creators. It's going to be weird for all of us to kind of bring you content on new panels if they're going to be delayed. But we have to, as I'm saying goodbye, it's already getting long. God, I love to talk. Um, is we have to have some patience. And I know we're all over everything. We've all been locked in. And we've all been... Um, we've had people in our communities that have gotten very sick. We've had death. We've had all kinds of stuff um, happening that's tragic. But most of us are just tired of it. But remember, the technology is just behind us. And it is now being affected. Or it's been affected during this period of time. And now we're seeing the effects of that. Um, we had a, I had a guy in the community say that he lost his job, works for one of the chip companies that is... Um, the microchips that are completely delayed and there's just a shortage. So we're having shortages of materials and we're feeling it now more in technology in regards to um, not just TVs, but receivers as well. So it's going to be a weird, weird year. It's just kind of an after effect as so many of us are just tired of it. And now we're really going to feel the brunt of it as far as when these TVs will be um, released. That's just my thoughts on it. Um, piecing it together from some friends there's no articles for me to include, but I'm guessing we're really dealing with the effects of everything that's happened in this world. We're feeling it in the TV space now, and it's a little bit of a delayed reaction because we feel like we're so close to the end, but we're going to be looking at the summer for a lot of the panels that we've been waiting for, and uh, that's unfortunate, especially since Hisense and TCL and those guys are also in Vizio. They're sporadic. They can drop it any day. They could drop it at the end of the summer. Um, and it's just going to be very odd for many of us. All right, guys, that was my video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'll release the Best Buy video tomorrow or this weekend. We have some gameplay. Um, I have Need for Speed remastered behind me, which is really cool. And uh, we're just going to keep it rocking. I'm behind on my comments from the last two videos. I will get to them, I promise. I will see you in the comments. Love you guys. Thank you. Take care.